Hello, this is Alexey. I continue to publish video tutorials and reviews. If this video will be useful to you, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button under this video. In this way, you will help other users to find necessary information and my channel will be run better. All links from the video can be found in the description below. In previous free video tutorials, we create website on Joomla 4 from scratch. We used only free extensions. The result was a business website which was uploaded to the hosting. The previously recorded video tutorials for Joomla 4 are almost completely relevant for the current version of Joomla 5. The information from this video tutorial remain relevant for Joomla 4 as well, at least this is true on February 17, 2024. In this video tutorial we'll talk about Joomla plugins. After installing Joomla you can find more than 140 plugins for different types. In this video tutorial we'll work with some of the most interesting, in my opinion, content plugins. These plugins work not only in articles and the custom module, but also in some third-party components, for example, in the product description of the Virtual Mart online store component. This and other content plugins, including third-party, allow you to extend articles functionality, for example, add a link to the outer contact page, divide the article into parts by editing content with links, add gallery, insert video, and so on. In previous video tutorial we already work with contact component and create the page like this. Let's see how to add a link here to the outer name. By clicking on this link, user will go here. Let's see how it works. Go to the content, articles, how to work with article component you can learn from previous video tutorial. Go to option and enable this option, link to outer contact page. Save and close. Update the page. Here we can see a new link. Click on it and we'll go to the outer contact page. Why so? Because here, in article option, we can see in published tab that create by is this user, Alexey Hrashevsky. And here, in component, contacts, contacts, we can see that here we have Alexey Hrashevsky contact page, here it is, and the link user is the same user as the user for this article. Let's go to plugins, search for content, and here we can see content contact. By default this plugin enabled, here we can see redirection to internal contact page, to this page. Now let's change for example a web page from contact, save, update the page, click here, and we can see this page. Why? Because here in contacts, in website field, we can see this URL. Here it is. Let's change to email from contact. Update the page. If I click here, in left bottom corner, you can see that there is a link to my email. By clicking on this link, user can write a letter to me on this email. Why? Because here in contact, in email field, we can see this email. The next plugin is content email clocking. Here it is. It enabled by default. Here we can see some option. This plugin can help you to hide email on your pages from the spam bots. This is not 100% defense, but it can reduce probability of scanning your site by spam bots. So, let's see. Here is my article. How to work with this editor you can find out more in the previous video tutorial. This is just simple text. But here we can see that this is the link. In left bottom corner you can see that is, that is mail to link. Let's see the code. Here you can see 
this email in some additional tags. Now let's see if we change this option. Save. If we update page here, nothing changed. And if we update page here, we can see that this is text, no link. Let's see the code. We can see that this text in special tags. And if we disable this plugin, here nothing changed again. Update the page and here we can see that this is the text, but this text without additional tags. The next plugin is Content Page Break. Let's see our test page. Here it is. This is one page, one article. Here it is our Content Page Break plugin. Now it's enabled by default. Let's leave this option like this and go here. Let's separate this page into some parts. Go here, click CMS content, page break. Here we need to insert page title. As you can see here, the page title is test. Also test we have in our tab. Let's add, for example, htaccess file. And here I will add table of con contents alias. For example, just htaccess. Insert page break. Also, I will add page break here. The page title and table of contents alias can be the same, but for example, I will add different text and just leave like that. Save, update the page. Here we can see article index. Here we can see our page title here and here. And here we can see article index alias. Also, we can see preview and next button. We can click all pages to see whole text. And we can go back to the begin. Now let's change some options here. For example, hide site title and index. Update the page. We can see no title here. Also title disappear here. And disappear title from our index. Let's hide table of contents. Update the page. We can see no contacts here. Here we can see our pagination. Or we can just change presentation style to sliders. Update the page. Here are two slides. Or to the tabs. Here are two tabs. You can insert page break in any part of the article. I inserted before headings just for example. The next plugin is content page navigation. Let's look at our page. I delete all page breaks. Here we can see no buttons forward or back. Here we can see our plugin page navigation. It's enabled by default. But why we don't see next and previous link in the article? Because our test article in category uncategorized. Let's see this category. There is just one article. But let's see, for example, blog category. Here are four articles. Let's change the category from uncategorized to blog. 
just update the page and now we can see next button, next button and previous button. Why? Because in our category blog there are five articles. So let's change, for example, position, updating the page. Here we can see our buttons now here. This, they disappear from the bottom. Also, let's change the relevant to position, for example, above the text. Here it is. Also, we can change link text. For example, title of the article. But if you want to change this text, prev and next, you need to change language contents. How to work with language overrides you can find out from my previous video tutorial. And the last plugin I want to show you in this video tutorial is Content Void. Let's see, there is no voids here. This plugin disable by default. Just enable it. Go to Options and enable void here. Update the page. We can see some void function here. We can void. Also, we can change the position, for example, at the bottom. Here it is and hide or show number of voids. I hope this and other Joomla video tutorials have helped you with this CMS. In the next video we'll work with tag component. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Alexei. See you soon in new tutorials.